Hey, it's Steve. Well, I've been starting to work on designing the next couple layouts I'll be building here uh, coming up in the next several months. One of those is going to be a small end scale switching layout that'll be for my own personal use. And I want, I'm wanting to get started on that here in the coming weeks. So uh, you can see here on the screen a, a, a kind of a, a shot here from the website, the Steve Strange website, where I have a variety of track plans. And one is the San Jose uh, shell switcher, which was designed by Byron Henderson. And this is sort of my Kato unit track version of that that I have on the website. And that's a layout I've always been kind of interested in building, but haven't really gotten around to building it. So I wanted to go ahead and, and kind of build something in that flavor for this switching layout. So you can kind of see here what I'm thinking is to make a compact one by five foot version of that. So one by five feet is, you know, the limit that I have in terms of my shelf. Uh, availability in my office and so that's what I'm kind of going with here for the overall size of this plan. Uh, so by shrinking it down it does require me to basically take a few inches off each side of the layout in terms of the track length and shorten the runaround by several inches in the middle as well. So that will be something I'll have to look at in terms of how that's going to impact the overall operations. Obviously, you can, look, you can look at it and see that it does have sort of that little bit of a time saver look to it. So I have to be careful that I don't turn this into too much of a puzzle to operate, and I do have still enough length everywhere to actually move the cars around without it being you know, too much of a puzzle. But it could also be one of those things where if I add more than, say, 12 cars, I can turn it into a switching puzzle uh, to make it more complicated if I want to actually do that on a given day. But anyway, he's, here's kind of what I'm looking at uh, at doing, sort of a sketch here of the overall design. So a one by five foot design. Um, and what I want to do is actually have a, a hinged top cover and front cover um, and have all the controls built into the front. So you can see here I'll have uh, basically, um, you know, enough space to have the industries that are not going to be very tall. I'll probably have them, you know, less than you know, four inches tall, something like that. Um, so I can have that cover come over it and kind of make it sort of a compact thing to carry and, uh, you know, not have anything that sticks up too far. Uh, I am planning on building a, a uh, pull-out drawer on the left-hand side of the layout, and that's where I will store all my rolling stock, my motive power, that kind of thing. And then I'll have all my controls built into the central and right-hand side of the layout. So uh, plugins for a DCC controller, uh, probably a DC throttle built in there as well if I want to operate just in, in you know, battery power DC mode or something like that. And I might do push button controls uh, for the turnouts as well um, to uh, you know, have a little bit easier operation in that regard. Now, and uh, I do plan to probably just do a long piano hinge on the back and then as well as on the, on the, uh, the front edge and have a flap there. So that will basically flap or flip over and cover the front, and then you know it'll come down and cover the top, and then there'll be a lock on the front somewhere where I can kind of uh, um, you know to help keep it closed. So if I want to transport it, I can just you know have everything closed up, nothing will get damaged, all the rolling stock will be in the drawer, and it'll be easy to transport you know to the office or to home or take it to a train show, that kind of thing. And so that's kind of the idea of what I'm thinking at there. So overall dimensions would be something like. Uh, again, 60 inches long, being you know five feet, uh, about 12 inches wide, and, and height maybe nine inches, maybe a little bit you know plus or minus a couple inches there, depending on how uh, how you know high I want to actually make this whole thing uh, in terms of uh, transportation and the ease of, of fitting on the shelf and and that kind of thing. So that's kind of what I'm looking at there. Um, now, now in terms of capacity, I'll mark some cars out here, you know, roughly where they would go on the layout in terms of car spots. And that, and my little highlights here represent a 50-foot car length, which is four inches in end scale. So you can do three cars per foot in end scale if you have a 50-foot car length. And so you can see here, I can have basically uh, probably four car spots on the industry on the top left. Um, I can also do probably a couple cars on the team track, and then probably three on the industry on the bottom left. And then the industry on the bottom right would also have probably three car spots. So that would give me a total of about 12 car spots on the layout for destinations for various rolling stock. Now, I would also have a capacity of probably uh, five cars or so on the interchange track, four to five cars there easily. And then also uh, the switch lead, it'll probably be an engine and plus two cars, maybe three depending on how that uh, exactly fits in, in, in real life to clear that first turnout. And then the runaround track should be able to hold three cars on either side, maybe four 
uh, on the on the bottom side, and so that should give me enough operating uh, ability to move everything around without it being too much of a challenge. Um, unless I want to add a few more cars and, and make it more of a challenge to do that. So that's kind of what I'm looking at here for the overall design of this layout. So again, 10 to 12 car spots, five cars on the interchange, and probably the way I will do this, um, you know, six or something cars already spotted, and I'll have a few cars on the interchange, and, and some of those will get spotted at uh, spots where there's already a car there, and I'll have to... And so, and so most of the time when I operate, I probably have about 12 cars on the layout at any given time, including on the interchange. Um, and then I can just either take some off or add a couple more if I want to sort of increase or decrease the overall challenge of, of switching everything. But, um, and whether I operate this with a playing card system like I have with other layouts or do a car card and waybill kind of system, create a bunch of switch lists that I can, uh, that are pre-generated and I can kind of just pick one and operate that way as well. So we'll see how the operation will be set up here. But anyway, I just want to give you a look at the layout that I'm looking at potentially building here in the coming weeks, at least starting to build it. Um, and so I will be, this will be one of the series I'll be having here coming up this year is building this end scale switching layout. Again, this layout will be for my own personal use. I'm not building it for anyone. Uh, and hopefully it'll be a nice addition to my office once it's complete. And I'm also starting to sketch out some ideas for a couple of projects that uh, people have requested. So I will start sharing those as well once I have those kind of more fully fleshed out and you can kind of see what I'll be building here coming up during the remainder of 2022. Uh, and maybe some of these will carry over to next year as well. So we'll have to kind of see how that goes. But anyway, uh, I do hope to get started on some new projects here coming up in the near future. And so this will be one of those projects and I will have more coming up uh, in the coming weeks on YouTube and on the website. But anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.